Hi guys, it's Belle here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of A Day in the Life of. Today we are with the party house, drink, flirt, dance, repeatedly. Jade, Eva and Paolo jumped at the opportunity to explore the world and set up the ultimate crib in Windenburg as soon as Marcus extended the invite. And the party hasn't stopped since. Drama is never far behind when they're together and they're always together. With only one and a half jobs between the four of them, how in the world do they manage to pay their bills? So there is no lot description available. So Eva has no job. She has a serial romantic aspiration. Her traits are hot-headed, romantic and materialistic. Marcus has no job either, but apparently he's loaded because he invited them all to this big house. So he has the friend of the world aspiration. His traits are active, bro and non-committal. Jade has uh, the business career level 2. She's an office assistant. She has the mansion barren aspiration. Her traits are outgoing, ambitious and neat. And Paolo, the last one, is an athlete. He's level two. It's a locker room attendant. He has the bodybuilder aspiration. His traits are active, music lover and bro. And you will hear Marcus here working out. In some uh, parts, I have left the audio on because I think it's hilarious. Um, you will see what I mean. So, for those of you who are new to this series, it's basically me just observing these pre-made townies in The Sims 4 together. I am today, I am with the party house. We are together in their house now and we are observing them. I don't control them at all. I put everything I film together in a machinima style and if you are interested, Go to my channel, click on playlists, click on a day in the life and you will see 15 other households beside them I filmed. So now let's get back and watch them. So this is beautiful Eva Capricciosa. I think she must be Italian from the name. She's such a beautiful sim. I really love her and I was very astonished that she is a materialistic. I didn't picture her. She looks very nice and kind to me. This is her friend Jade Rosa. I think she's Spanish with a name. So uh, she is ambitious and neat. I think she must be the one that is cleaning all the time in the household. And then of course we have Marcus Flex. I love Marcus. He actually started my Corleone legacy because my first sim Anastasia Corleone, I think it was Anastasia Corleone, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it probably was. She married Marcus and they started the legacy together. So I've always been fond of him. And uh, yeah, he's actually in a lot of my save files, which is very funny. So here he is standing with Eva. So I always thought they had a little chemistry. But when they were standing next to each other, nothing happened. So Marcus um, was too shy maybe, but now he's following her. So let's see what they are up to. So he's sitting next to her. So here you see a part of their big house. They have this big open plan, which is amazing. I can't wait to decorate their house to renovate it. Paolo just joined them. Paolo Roca is probably Spanish as well because in get together there are added a lot of European sims in my opinion at least because I'm European as well but I'm Swiss they didn't add any Swiss people or at least I don't know of so they are sitting together in harmony watching something and I always hope for drama and then suddenly the music came um, when there is a welcome one so we have sweet candy if you're following my day in the life she hasn't been visited yet but she appears in the welcome wagon a lot so here she's singing and it's hilarious that's why I left the music on here so you can hear her and yeah it's so sweet of her to sing so uh, yeah uh, Jade is on the computer they have this massive arcade gaming device that we saw Marcus and Eva play before just for a little bit. 
They really have everything they need. They have a bar, they have workout gear, they have a foosball table. And the great thing is that they use a lot of this. So that's what's nice. Sometimes you visit households, you don't control them at all and they do nothing. But here they are doing stuff. So it's great. But what is not so great is that Sweet Candy is still waiting outside. None of them went to say hello to, the, to her. I think they are self-sufficient because they are four friends living together. They don't need anyone else um, and as the description from the Sims team said in the beginning they are always together so Marcus is working out um, if you look at him you know why he's working out a lot and the other are just chilling in front of the television I'm just uh, looking forward to see if they will interact with each other so this is so funny because um, if you watch Delicacy and you watch her vlogs too, you have seen her boyfriend Patrick and uh, Paolo reminds me of Patrick a lot. So this was very funny for me to visit Party House. These two seem to have some chemistry in my opinion, at least I thought so, but uh, they don't talk to each other. They're just moving uncomfortably on the couch, which is a bit weird, but still funny for me. But uh, then suddenly Marcus and Paolo just walked um, behind each other and they kissed hello, which is a bit weird if you live together, you wouldn't do that all the time. And uh, they uh, are going along really well. So maybe there's chemi chemistry between them and they're walking back to the sofa, which is so funny when they do that so we can watch them a little bit I think they get along very well they will make a very cute couple unfortunately um, I'm not sure if something will happen but we will see we can always be wrong if you watched my roomies household there some sparks happen just go and check that out don't check out the others as well it's very interesting you get to learn them town is a lot better I discovered a lot I didn't know and I play a lot with the townies i know most of them but still they surprise me every time which is very funny so here they were walking around sitting down getting up walking around so it was a bit of a mess um but eva is the only one who is still sitting there i don't know why they kiss themselves hello maybe they love each other so much um but it's good I, I love it that they are getting along with each other and spending time with each other maybe it's that open plan that makes it easier so uh, i don't think she likes that paulo went upstairs so she comes to disturb him and uh, i don't think she's cleaning the table i think she cleans paulo which is the funniest thing I have ever seen and he doesn't like it he says woman go clean somewhere else I don't like that I'm I'm gaming I have to concentrate I mean my boyfriend would go nuts if I would do that so she's going into the bedroom and what is she doing here she is just standing around I don't know why Sims would just stand around randomly at some places but oh Eva is coming so yeah kisses again of course and they just uh, came here to kiss it wasn't even a real kiss it was just uh, three kisses on the cheek so she's coming back will there something happen will something happen no 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 they're just sitting down and standing up and they're all a bit nervous and they're going away so Eva decided to take over the computer and I think Jade is hungry and she's trying to make contact with Marcus like hello Marcus I didn't see you before how are you doing so this is a little place they have outside in the back of the house which I find really cute because they can spend some time together outside but they are still in their own private room it's not private but they have a view so she made these hamburgers just to put them uh, down on the floor which is uh, strange but I think uh, she's really uh, a bit intimidated by Marcus and she really wants to talk to him but he doesn't really stay so she's a bit annoyed but then Eva and Paolo joined her so at least she's not alone anymore and if Marcus doesn't want to talk to her and doesn't want to taste these good hamburgers or veggie burgers I can't remember what she did so it's his loss so 
just look at the background you see a part of Wittenberg there's the river and um, they live in such a beautiful house I uh, still wonder where Marcus is coming from where his family uh, heritage is coming from but I'm not sure if you know if you know something about Marcus let me know in the description down below I just love this here just uh, seeing them talk here and uh, behind you see Windenburg that is uh, really nice so that's why I just uh, watched Jade although she seemed so uncomfortable so uh, Marcus is in the bathroom washing his hands and uh, yeah now we see uh, see them in action Marcus is going to get a drink probably or sitting at the bar Paolo is watching TV again and here we can see Marcus having his drink I think he made it and uh, I also love the graffiti in the background there's a DJ booth unfortunately none of them is a DJ yet I'm not sure if you have to level that skill to be one they are not randomly DJing and that is a bit of a shame so someone went up, Jade went upstairs and Marcus is going to go upstairs as well, I think, I'm not sure. So Jade is coming back down and I think she has something planned like Marcus. So they're going to play some foosball together and they're having fun. I'm not sure who won because uh, suddenly both of them decided just to stand around. And yeah, well, I don't know why. So they're just standing around. Mm. But oh well. It's their house. They can do whatever they want. Getting back on the couch. Eva, I think, is still um, on the computer. And I hope I don't have to cough. It's really annoying when I feel like coughing, but I don't want to because I speak through all my voiceovers. Mm. But there are only a few minutes left, so I'm sure I can do it without coughing. So we have a good view on lovely Marcus here, while all the other ones are going upstairs. So let's maybe follow them and see what they are up to. So Eva is uh, asleep, and if you know me, you you know that I love to watch them sleep. There's nothing creepy about it. It's just. Uh, meditative and calm and quiet and relaxing so I put those bubbles there Jade also sleeps so it's fun because I think the upper bedrooms are more for the boys I'm not sure which one is which but uh, the girls are deciding to sleep there and Marcus is deciding to do some more workouts just look at him how buff he is I think that's for my taste a bit too many muscles but I think it suits him really well and he's giving everything but still he's always smiling he's such a cute and sweet sim I really love him and well yeah so Paolo decides to take another bed but he's just having a nap he doesn't really need to sleep but of course he also gets his bubble and just look at him I wish Delegacy would see that because I would love to know if she thinks that Paolo looks a bit like Pat. Maybe I will tweet her and ask her if I think about it. Maybe I won't want. But uh, it's so funny. And we have, uh, I think Marcus wants to go to bed. But his bedroom is taken. I think this is his bedroom. So he's trying to see if uh, the other bedroom is free. And then he's going downstairs to check on the third bedroom. You don't really see him get in. But then finally he finds a bed to sleep in. And uh, yeah, we also have some bubbles for Marcus, of course. So uh, it's a bit, sometimes it's a bit uh, annoying and boring when they are all asleep. But thankfully, Paolo just took a nap so that means he woke up and he went downstairs just fixing him a drink himself a drink and um, he's quite good at it so I'm not sure what he drank but um, he's singing now which is uh, so funny that's why I'm letting you listen to it um, he doesn't sing that well not sure if um, the Ligrisis Patrick sings better. I hope that for him. But I won't stop now with the Patrick references. We're going to focus on our Paolo Rocca again. So he's also very um, 
very athletic and he's working out a lot. He's uh, sweating also a lot, which is a bit disgusting, but normal. But uh, yeah, he's working out in the middle of the night, which is really fun. <laughs> At least for me, it's fun to watch him. I think he's listening music from the DJ booth, but he didn't go there. And I, because I think he wants to be a DJ as well as a hobby, he loves that. So we're just going to check back on our other sims that are still peacefully sleeping with the bubbles. Mm. So I haven't filmed another day in the life episode yet. I'm very curious to see what episode 17 is going to be. I think I have uh, done 15. This is the 16th, so I have done 16. And I have another 15 or 16 to visit. And if the Sims team adds other townies with a new expansion pack or game pack, then I can have more Sims to visit because they didn't add any townies with the Jungle Adventure game pack because it's a vacation world, of course, and there are no pre-made townies. So Paolo is sweating and sweating and sweating and sweating and his workout is over soon. So he is exhausted and he decides to take a shower and we are going to watch him for a little bit. I really like the way the bathroom is made. I really like that house a lot. There are still things I would like to renovate and change because I don't like them, but all in all, it's one of the better pre-made houses in this decorative aspect, I think. So, um, well, um, after the shower, Paolo goes into the kitchen and he is preparing breakfast. So it's always fun to see if Sims will prepare breakfast only for themselves or if they will prepare breakfast for others. Paolo's skill, cooking skill is not that good. I think he just started out to cook because probably he lived with his parents before. So I was not sure if there would be a fire maybe, but no, there is no fire. So just watch where he puts the plate. So he's preparing something for him. He's putting the plate over there. And Eva is getting something from the fridge, uh, some yogurt, and Jade is taking Paolo's breakfast. So that is not very nice, but I think Paolo was tired, so he wanted to go to sleep. And that's why he let Jade have his food. And yeah, they love each other. They live together so they can share the food of course so yeah i think we are almost at the end it's um the morning the next day and paolo uh, was awake during the night and now he is going to sleep because he needs more sleep because he has a job and he has to be fit for continuing the athlete career so i really hope you liked this episode of a day in the life of today we were with party house this um, normally comes out every Saturday, so I can't wait to share another episode with you really soon. Please like and share it on Twitter, give me a thumbs up and check out the other videos of this series if you haven't already watched them because, yeah, I really think it's interesting and fun and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Bye guys!